Alright guys, here we've got this off-roading beast today. Off-roading truck. Awesome. Now, I would have thought that this should be our new track record setter. I don't see why this is going to have any problems getting around the track at all. That's just a bullet turbo boost. Okay. And we're away. Look at that, just hauling through the mud, up the hill. Got those turbos screaming. Okay, taking a bit of damage. Sort of run wide here. Big understeer. Hard to get this front end to turn. It's just sledging all the way around. And it's actually taking a bit of damage, this front end. I thought it would have been a bit more robust. No cornering ability through the technical section, straight over the top. Not too bad around the rocky road. Whoa! Did not like that at all. Okay guys, already set to go. Right, look at this thing, off the line. Hauling up the hill. No problems with the mud. Okay, maybe a little bit of a problem with the mud. I thought the direct route would be alright for this thing, but it did slow it down a little bit. We could have gone around it there. Come into our other boggy section. Hits it with speed and just pushes on through onto the tarmac section. Big understeer, the sledging, front end. Feeding lock into it. Oh, now it's getting rear end heavy. Bouncing across the top of the mud. Up onto our rocky technical section. Whoa, no turning. Over the top of the rock obstacle. Back on the gas. Big damage there. Come into contact with those obstacles. Didn't like going up the hill. Big moment down the other side. Just that front end just does not turn. Bouncing away, doing its own thing across the road, back on the other side of the road. Understeering all the way around the corner, spewing out sparks and flames. Last thing, it's going to find this one easy, doesn't even know it's there. Two minutes, so three. Alright, let's try and get around here without damaging the truck so bad. Give it a serious chance. Guys, we're off. Straight into it. Oop, oh, into the boggy stuff there. Trail's getting pretty bad now. Pull through alright though, and we're away. This thing's got the turbo screaming. Last little boggy bit, oh look at that, onto the seal. Just all that speed carries it on through. Big understeer around the corner. 
shouldn't have any problems here. Bouncing across the top. Into the trees. Heaps of speed, no control. Onto the technical section. Up and around. Back on the gas. Coming for the hill. Whoa, big bump there. Climbs the hill like it's nothing. Bouncing down the hill. Completely sliding. Good transition. Damage galore. It's just damage. Whoa, look there. Bouncing over the, the fall on tree. It's not even going to notice the transition. Skims across the surface. Pumping along the ground, and there it is. Look at that. Whoa, what a ride. One minute, 50 seconds. And then again, we took a lot of damage on, so we... If we had to do more of an endurance race, we would have to be a lot more careful. Right, ho. One minute, 50. That is fast. What's this thing going like on the sand plains? See, this is more suited to what it, this truck's used for. It's bouncing along. Mind you, there's still the odd damage point that's coming up on this train, just because of the sheer speed of this thing. Understeer, though. There's no drifting this thing. Sounds and crazy though. Right. What? Nothing. I don't even think we're gonna. This water's gonna even bathe this truck. Splashing on through. No, this truck's got massive ground clearance. The swamp, and the swamp is nice and ripped up now. Apart from the fact that you can't really steer this thing, now ripped up channel there, I'll have to go back around. Whoa! Actually found a boggy part here and she sunk. She might be stuck. Oh, it is moving. Very slowly though. Obviously speed is this truck's friend. And without speed, this truck is going nowhere. I'm a little bit worried about taking this on to that boggy trail. Because it can't even get through this piece, unless this piece is particularly bad. So we're moving slowly, just creep up and creep again in reverse. Climb back onto that surface. There we go. Right, I'm just going to lock it in high. Just so it doesn't change gears on me. I'm going to probably have to get a bit of a run up for this. Okay. Here's the beams.
Yep, I slowed down too much. I'm gonna have to do this in low. Let's go for high. And we're stuck. Sort of hit something there. It just so I guess this truck is just too big and heavy, and these were tyres are just not designed for this sort of mud crawling. Right guys, well, I think that's going to do it for the off-road racing truck. It is, it is fun and it sounds bloody incredible, screaming turbos. But it's not the most capable vehicle. Going fast is really what it's got going for it.